ever wanted was a corpse, but my father would never get me one for Christmas. Sad, isn't it? Please don't say that with such a genuine, dejected look on your face. Well, no matter. It still is quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Okay, what up, Stalkshaw? Please don't mind me. Oh, I always mind you, Shu, because if I didn't, I would turn around and there'd probably be a fork stuck in my back or something. Continue. I have no intention of interfering with you. I see no reason to tamper with the evidence. That's great, because I really didn't suspect you of stealing Christmas trees, much less writing a note with the word SAWWE in it. Just yet. I'll hate you. Hate. <laughs> You're not Santa. Alone with the doctor in a half-collapsed room. Leota, honey, you're saying this out loud. That, that's not a good plan. I hope I make it out if you're alive. He says with the doctor right within ear distance? Okay, and we're back to Roskiro. Excuse us! What is this depressing room? Oh, don't worry, Sakuya. You'll forget all about it in a while. It's the maintenance office. Mr. One's night quarters are here, too. I think it's comfy. It feels very... lived-in. Rescue, honey, you live in a cave. I, I think anywhere is more comfortable than that, darling. You sleep on rocks. Comfy? Humph. <laughs> Let us do whatever we are here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility rub off. I did not know poverty and or reprehensibility could rub off on someone. The more you know. Mr. One! Are you in here? Salutations, mon ami. Well, looks like Mr. One isn't here. For a very, very debonair sexy creature is. Did you come to visit me? Well, not particularly, but I'm really happy that you're here, Yuya. Uh, Yuya! He's sitting at a low tea table. Oh no, the irresponsible and slightly worn out Yuya might be just a little bit too attractive. Cannot get away from his magnetism. No, being slowly drawn to the sexy. I knew it! A place as disgusting as this is bound to draw disgusting company! I don't think he's disgusting. I don't think he's disgusting at all. And a very fine morning to you, too, Sakuya. Polite as always, good brother. We came to talk to Mr. One! You hear, Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while Mr. One is out. Crapplestein, then we can't question him. Darn it, I was gonna be the good cop and you, and I'm assuming that Sakuya was gonna be the bad one. Some plans just don't work out. Out? Immediately after a break in? Suspicious indeed. Yes. He was the one who destroyed your fancy tree! Confess! Confess! I suggest we apprehend him at the first opportunity. You misunderstand. He's taking care of a few things, so our investigation of the theft can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw... You saw the ones who did it! Yuya and one? You saw the crime in progress? 
Wh what? We did indeed. It was beautiful. Explosions everywhere. It's not easy being a hero of justice. Oh, Yuya, you could easily be the next steel samurai. Trouble always seems to come to you. Why did you not notify me immediately? Filthy mongrel! Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months, and you always blow me off. Why so cold, Sokuya? Just give him your freaking number. I'd be happy if he asked me for my number. Oh! <laughs> Did you see the culprits, Yuya? Yes. Fearsome foes indeed. I don't know. I looked at them when they were in the shop. They didn't seem so fearsome. They seemed kind of derpy looking, actually. Stick your beaks too far into this, and you could lose them. Oh no, not our noses and our mouths. Don't say I haven't warned you. <laughs> How like you, mongrel, to cower in this filthy hovel out of fear. Yes, because he seems so freaking afraid. I, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. <laughs> they will rue the day they rest with me. Rue it, I say. Rue it! I, too, swear to retrieve the stolen trees on my honor as a hunter-gatherer. Yes. Sailor Moon pose and everything. In the name of the moon, I will punish you. How brave of you. I know, isn't it, Yuya? Now twirl me around like a maiden in love. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. <gasps> For me, you shouldn't have. Yuya picks up one of a number of photographs lined up on the table and holds it out to us. They were already on their way out when I arrived at the scene, and alas, I was unable to keep their trail. Darn it! They even got away from freaking Yuya! But apparently he was able to take pictures. Odd. But I am a professional, and I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on film. And I bet you did a fantastic job. I bet that shit is as artistic as possible. These are the culprits. Let's check it out! That's the same shot from before! Except it's less cloudy now. And we can clearly see that it's those two dum-dums from the shop. And man, is that... No wonder that's Mr. Sparkly. It's beautiful. It's shiny. Hmm. Uh, but what are these white things? Oh! See? They shock even a bold lady of hunter-gatherer origin. No, Yuya. I've seen him before, and I've just had a revelation. That's not it, Yuya. I know these creatures. Oh, are they friends of yours? No, sir. I would never hang out with such a deplorable crowd. Who are they, and where do they live? Yes, we will go a-knocking on their door. But this time, we're not singing Christmas carols. We're gonna kick some ass and chew some boba gum. And we're all out of gum. Tell me this instant! Uh, I don't know who they are exactly. When Ryota and I were on a shopping date, they attacked the store. <laughs> they rampaged the store in a frantic pace, shouting Merry Christmas. It was horrible. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Loathable jerk bags! 
This is why we can't have nice things. You do. Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I hope to take you to the employee's lounge. Yes, all the way to the freaking employee's lounge, where you belong, dirtbags. Cuff them, officer. High society does have rules. Ma Merry Christmas? Oh, they just want to have a Merry Christmas and destroy things. That's all they ever really wanted. Those are the two things who got sculpted by the security guard in the high society sequel department store. Aren't they? Why, why are you asking these guys it? Because they obviously don't know. Only Ryota would know. And right now he's alone with the doctor, which sucks. And he felt the need to say it out loud, too. <laughs> they were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of the department store yesterday and got taken away by security. What in? Looks like they'll go after anything with Christmas on it. <laughs> Though, I can sympathize with their enthusiasm for the Holy Night. We thought they were only going after easy targets, but it looks like once they get a sight of something, they won't rest until it's theirs or destroyed. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet destruction. Cause you know, there's nothing quite like waking up and destroying some Christmas stuff. The entire city is filled with Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they will strike next, and that's no way of ambushing them. Well, we just have to look for the biggest, bestest Christmas tree then, don't we? Not necessarily. We could lure them easily with an extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? Yeah, see? You just thinking, right? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I would say no. They're just like Christmas, I guess. I agree with you, yeah. I think we should try to beat them. Yes! Come here, little birdies. Nice Christmas tree for you to ruin. <laughs> then it's settled, and the best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Sakria, get out your wallet. We're gonna buy a giant tree. Right, Sakria. <sighs> the finest tree in town? Do you know of a good one, Sakria? Are you suggesting we use the LaBelle family's Christmas tree as a lure, mongrel? Yes! Of course! Given how much work he put into the council room tree, he almost certainly has a gorgeous and decadent tree at home! Of course he freaking does, he's a LaBelle. It seems like the best choice. And you aren't about to just let them get away with having burned your other tree, are you? Oh man, Sakuya. Looks like you're gonna lose two trees, buddy. Of course not! Where is your tree set up, Sakuya? In the main salon! Oh wow, and you even used the fancy word for it. Nice, Sakuya. It is not visible from outside. It would take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. I do not think that this is a realistic opinion. Well, if we just get a whole bunch of birdies and work together, I'm sure we can do it. We we'll just need teamwork, because what's going to work? Teamwork. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and word of mouth, then. The LaBelle family, moved here to Little Dove Hachiman City from France, is displaying its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public, uh, or something. Who said anything about opening the mansion to the public? Ugh, disgusting common folk. Get them away. Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas here, after all, and it should help to spread the LaBelle family's reputation. Ah, stroking his ego. Nice one, Yuya. Hmm. Come on, Sakuya. Open it up to the whole city. Please. 
Puppy doll guys. Let every birdie know you have an extravagantly decorated tree at home. The thieves should hear the rumors and they'll come to see. And then we can catch them with our net. It's flawless. Hmm. Very well. I shall assist you. Cool. I'll get everything ready for an announcement in the evening papers. Something like, the LaBelle family's Christmas tree is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas enthusiasts welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounded good. But what kind of super high school student are you to have that much clout with the local newspaper companies? Well, he's a special student. Any male dove would become super for a lady as lovely as yourself, mon ami. Oh, Yuya, you flatter me far too much. I shall be off then. Adu kisses my hand and twirls out. Loose tongue, cur. Yuya's laying the bait for us, so... Should we work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house, Sakuya? A reasonable suggestion. We shall plan our strategy after school, then. Yes, we shall. It's still midday, but the wind is cold. At least today is a half day. It would be freezing in here if it were already evening. Why are we having the meeting in here, Sakuya? Because it's his office, and it just doesn't feel right to him not to have a meeting in his office, despite the giant awkward hole. Is it not obvious? Because this is my domain, see? Your domain, though despoiled? Scum! Do you mock me? There is no despoiled in the dictionary of labels. The labels have a dictionary? That must be one fancy dictionary. It's probably coated with... It's probably coated with gold, and and the pages are probably filled with the tears of the many men who had to write it all down. Stupid peasants. Whatever, let's just make it the plan already! Sakuya is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. Yes, he is. They used explosives here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? Oh, I don't want to blow up the LaBelle mansion. It's pretty. They might pretend to be normal guests and sneak in the front entrance. Uh, these guys? I don't think so. I think they're just gonna crash through the windows like a certain Oko-san did. They might, yes. But their goal is the tree, so even if they get inside... They will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photographs show them to be quite small, so there's no way the two of them could carry it out. How could they get it outside, then? They come in through the ceiling. Or maybe there are more. Maybe there are a whole ton of them. They'll be like freaking Pikmin! I think they would need some sort of heavy machinery. So, you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Yeah! A truck! The most high-tech of high-tech machinery. Any suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. So, we need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. And by the way, where'd the doctor go? Is he just sitting in the corner right now, munching on some peanuts or something, watching us have this conversation? Who knows? The mansion opens at 7. Should we be there this evening, too? Yes. That should help things go the most smoothly. I'll see you two there, then! We didn't even discuss a plan! We need to catch these thieves before Christmas itself arrives! Yes. Nothing will spoil our Christmas season. <laughs>